Question number two, the Honourable Annette King. Mr Speaker. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Point of order, Keith Locke. Point of order. I seek leave to table uh, an article in this morning's New Zealand Herald, uh, which does show that three shortlisted tenders prepared for more than one million each are due to expire this Tuesday. That is on the order. integrated ticket. Leave, leave is sought to table an article out of the Herald. Is there any objection to that? There is. Uh, question number two, the point of order, Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I seek leave to table an article from the Herald. Buses lead the way as commuters leave car at home from the 25th of February 2009. Order. I'm about to put seek leave for that, but can I remind the Green members that the Standing Orders Committee has recommended that articles out of daily newspapers should not be tabled in the House? <laughs> Having said that, leave is sought to table that article out of the Herald. Is there any objection? There is. Question number two, the Honourable Annette King. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Prime Minister. Does he have confidence in all his ministers? If so, why? The Honourable Bill English, on behalf of the Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, yes, because they are all talented and working hard for New Zealand. The Honourable Annette King. Mr Speaker, how, how can he have confidence in the Minister for ACC when over 400 briefing papers are currently stacked up in his office requiring attention, and isn't this a sign of a minister out of his depth? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, yes, I do have confidence in the Minister for ACC. He is dealing with a legacy of Labor overseeing ACC with much more focus on the politics than on the, on the effectiveness of the scheme and the Minister of ACC now has to set about the difficult job of saving ACC entitlements from that party's, from that party's mismanagement of the corporation. The Honourable Annette King. How can he have confidence in the Minister for the Environment when senior executives from the Ministry for the Environment have gone to DPMC and his office to say they can't work with Dr Smith because he hasn't read any advice provided to him. And isn't this an indication of a minister out of control? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker. The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, if there was any minister who could be guaranteed to read every word of all advice, it would be the Ministry for the Environment uh, and the Labor Party, of course have nothing to do except pay attention to rumour and gossip. The Honourable Annette King. Why, if he has confidence in the Minister for ACC, has he taken to writing answers to parliamentary questions for the Minister, as demonstrated in the answer provided to the Opposition on the 19th of March, where it says, PM's advocated answer? <laughs> the Honourable Bill English. Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Bill English. Mr. Speaker. <laughs> well, that was, that was my point, actually. <laughs> Following the practice of the previous Labor government, we take a whole of government approach. <laughs> Although I'd have to say we, we have yet to develop the stern disciplinary methods used by the ninth floor previously. The Honourable Annette King. Mr. Speaker. Did he instruct the Honourable Stephen Joyce to give the Minister for ACC a bollocking in the parliamentary lobby recently for his poor performance in the House, or does the Minister for Communication see that as part of his daily duties? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker. The Honourable Bill English. Uh, those, who, those who are familiar with working with the Prime Minister know that he's quite capable of doing his own bollocking in his own charming way. The Honourable Annette Mr. King. Speaker, <laughs> who was he referring to when he said there's no room for phone throwers or temper tantrums at the top? And can he confirm his colleagues' belief that in fact he was talking about Nick Smith? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, no, he was talking about the previous occupants of the ninth floor of the Beehive. And not only has he decided there's no room for them, the New Zealand public decided there was no room for them. Question, question number.